for those who govern us, there's no bigger decision than peace or war. So today, Parliament was called back to allow MPs to argue, listen and finally decide. The Prime Minister. A year after he lost a vote on military action, the Prime Minister was calling for it again, only this time the target is Islamic State or ISIL. But the fact is this is about psychopathic terrorists that are trying to kill us and we do have to realise that whether we like it or not, they have already declared war on us. There isn't a walk-on by option. There isn't an option of just hoping this will go away. But the questions soon began. Look at what the House of Commons agreed to. Iraq, Afghanistan, in misgovernment, Libya, None are success stories. Without the Iraqi army being able to take and hold ground, there is a real risk that airstrikes alone will not just prove ineffective, but could become counterproductive. How long will this war last and when will mission creep start? Well, let me answer that very directly. This is going to be a mission that will take not just months, but years. Unlike last year, this time the opposition's backing the government, but only so far. The Labour leader says he's not ready to support strikes on Syria. When we're not talking about being invited in by a democratic state, it would be better, I put it no higher than that, but it would be better to seek a UN Security Council resolution. But the Prime Minister said in certain circumstances he might still order British airstrikes in Syria and come back for backing from the Commons later. I think it's important to reserve the right that if there was a critical British national interest at stake or if there was the need to act to prevent a humanitarian catastrophe, then you could act immediately and explain to the House of Commons afterwards. Some on his own side believe today's vote does not go far enough. There is a legal and a clear legal case to attack ISIL bases in Syria and I'm afraid that sooner or later we're going to have to do it. It would be far better if we'd said so explicitly today. In the House of Lords, there was support for military action from an unlikely source. There is justification for the use of armed force on humanitarian grounds to enable oppressed victims to find safe space. The action proposed today is right. The result of this vote was easy to predict. The results of the bombing it's authorised are anything but.